All right, I want to talk today about um, conditions on highways and roads causing bikers to lay down their bike and whether you can pursue a claim for the condition of the road. And in particular, I want to highlight a recent settlement against the Georgia DOT right before trial. Um, this case settled for $550,000. And what happened was a, a biker in a 2007 Yamaha was driving I-20 near its intersection with 285. And there was a portion of the road that had deteriorated enough where it was going through a condition called raveling, where it's breaking down um, and becoming just gravel in that area. And of course, he hits the gravel portion, no real warning that it's there, hits the gravel portion, and bike goes over on its side, slides through, he slides down the highway. Um, he had two surgeries within uh, weeks, was taken to Grady Memorial Hospital. So ultimately, a really good result in the case. It did have to go into litigation and almost trial. All of these pretty much do, especially against uh, GDOT. Now, it may be one where it's not against GDOT. If you're on a uh, county road, uh, you would not probably be pursuing them. You'd be pursuing the county or city if it's a, um, a city highway municipality, something of that nature. But um, these are not cases to take lightly. They are very, very difficult. Not every single one, and quite frankly, not even probably half of them, are, are ones that are going to be able to be pursued. You've got to have more than just you've got a defect there. Um, in this case in particular, evidence was uncovered that there was contractors, as we all know, right around there uh, working on the bridges and those sorts of things, and that there was an inspection report with pictures that showed this gravel highlighting it to GDOT that it probably needs to be taken care of. So that was the evidence and the linchpin that allows liability. If all you have is a pothole or something like that, um, loose gravel in this scenario, with no evidence that they should have known it was there or that it's otherwise a defect. We also have design defect issues in, in cases. Um, you, you just don't know. And in this case, and in, in many of them, you've got to take a flyer and see what kind of evidence can be uncovered that would show fault. So just having a bad section in and of itself does not necessarily mean that uh, Georgia Department of Transportation or the county or the city or the state that's involved is liable for that hazard. They're always going to deny liability and it's a lot of litigation to try to uncover that they knew or should have known of this condition before uh, the bike goes down. So it is absolutely a possibility to be able to pursue these things. So I don't want you to um, be mistaken there. I get plenty of calls on these things. I see a lot in the group comments and things like that. There are stretches of highway that everybody knows is dangerous, that there's issues there. The more that we can put people on notice, what I would suggest to folks uh, is get involved, be an advocate out there, especially um, the bikers in the group, you know, call when you see a really bad condition and you're able to avoid it. Call GDOT, call the um, county involved or the state for the road and put them on notice. Hey, there is a massive pothole over here or there is deteriorating road that's creating gravel that it's very dangerous for motorcycles and other commuters. They're on notice at that point if they don't go out and get it fixed in a timely manner. That could help the next one down the road that does lose control and lose their bike. So again, road hazards, absolutely there could be a case. They are still very difficult ones to pursue. You're going to want to speak with a lawyer uh, to go through it. Um, these are difficult. So it is something that you're really going to need to investigate and see if there's something there to pursue. So that's my legal tidbit for today. I hope you enjoy this video. Shoot me some questions, comments uh, below in the group. I'd love to hear them. And thanks for watching the video.